Hello and welcome back to my channel. I have not done a homeware haul in so long. Like it's been I think before we even moved house and since moving house last September I have bought a lot more things. I think I showed you the homeware bits that I got for Christmas if I remember rightly but I never actually showed you guys anything that I got during September until now in March. Now I've bought a lot of things and a lot of things have been used so for example I've bought so much new bedding which I would normally put in a homeware haul um, but I have been using my Instagram account which is the forever home if you guys haven't um, already checked that out so I'll leave the link to my Instagram below and basically I I basically put a lot of pictures on there rather than kind of filming hauls on a regular basis but it's occurred to me recently that I have been buying quite a lot of home bits so I've decided to kind of collect just a few examples of things I have been buying over the last few months and I'll just show you guys what I've got. If there's any questions about anything that I've forgotten to say I will try and say where I got it from and how much it was and if I did buy it like in the sale or whatever I will let you guys know just so you're not on the hunt for nothing. Um, but yeah I'll crack on. So I think I'm going to go with shops to say where I got things from so I'm going to start with the holy grail that is Primark. It's definitely a bit hit or miss for me. I find that the items look really really good like from afar but then when you get close up like there's little dints or dents or cracks and things like that in them so you really have to try and find like the best of the bunch when you're in Primark but I'm going to crack on and just show you what I got from there. First thing that I got is this really cool like geometric copper like tea light holder and you actually do get the tea light with it which is always quite nice. This was only £3 and this is currently available I only bought this last week. And I just think this is really, really nice just for like, um, on top of like a chest of drawers or something. We have white chest of drawers in our bedroom, so this just sits on top of there and it looks really, really nice when it's lit because obviously these, all these little shapes and stuff like project onto the wall. The next thing I bought, which is really, really popular on so many people's homes at the moment, are these little fake potted plants. Now again, to look at, it does look really, really cute. Um, however, like, it's really like wobbly and you can kind of see like the polystyrene underneath and stuff when you look closely so they look really really nice on display but you do really have to try and sort out which one looks the best they also do a really really nice like grey and white pot of these at the moment but again there's quite a lot of chips and knocks and things like that in them so have a little look through I've not managed to find one that looks nice enough just yet all those are quite dirty looking the next thing I got was a candle now I'm not on a candle ban, but I definitely think buying candles is something that I need to hold back on. I seem to buy a lot of them, and although I do light them quite regularly, I'm definitely not like, because I don't tend to just sit in the living room at night time, I tend to kind of make my way around the house. I don't obviously like to leave a candle unattended, so I don't really light them as much as I should, but if they look nice and they smell nice, then I always buy candles. And I got this one from Primark, and it's this really, really gorgeous, like, dark blue, angela gold, kind of like a bit like a Moroccan feel, which isn't normally my style, but I absolutely adore this. And it smells like pineapple and guava, and it's really fresh, kind of citrusy, it's really, really nice. This was £4.50, which I wouldn't normally spend in Primark, and I did debate this for a good, like, five minutes, deciding whether or not I wanted to buy it, but in the end I did, obviously. And I just think this would look really, really nice on the side in our bathroom. Next from Primark are these tea towels. I did also buy some bedding as well when I bought these. Um, but that's been used and stuff. But that, again, was on my Instagram account. It was, like, this really nice deep blue, like, paisley pattern. But if you want to check it out, it is on my Instagram account. And these tea towels, these were £3.50. And I've managed to not use these yet because they've actually been upstairs rather than going down because I just brought the whole bag up. And these have got pineapples like a really nice like gray cottony feel and then just a gray and kind of like a peach stripe on there and you can also get these as well at the moment these are great for like i think like the coming seasons i think pineapples and things always look really really nice in kitchens like in spring summertime i also bought another candle obviously this was one pound fifty and although i'm not really a massive lover of this blue although it does actually kind of go with this one as well i only bought this one because this was actually the nicest smelling one they did have grey ones of this available, but the smell was not nice at all. So, so I do feel like I did the right thing by getting the one that I thought smelt nicer rather than the one that looked nicer. But this was £1.50, but I have found out that these are actually now 50p in the reduction section, which I found yesterday, which I was pretty peed off about, if I'm honest. But again, really, really cute, really, really small. And I actually sit this next to this plant in our... Um, 
in our bathroom and although it looks a little bit funny because the candle is actually bigger than the plant they do look quite nice together. Next few bits I actually got from Primark yesterday so these are all currently in store and absolutely available. It's, although not really a homeware thing I did buy this really really cute Mickey Mouse um, kind of like a lunch bag. I am a massive Disney fan if you don't already know and this basically has astronaut Mickey print all over it and this was £2. The next thing I bought, although we have tried to kind of go for a bit more of a grown-up house, we do like to have a few little touches here and there of things that kind of are more us. And I bought this really, really cute chalkboard from Primark, which says Mischief Managed, obviously from Harry Potter. And it does come with chalk as well. This might actually end up going in my room, I think. I, I don't know where it will go, but I think it would be really, really nice to hang somewhere. Either that or I might put it in the guest bedroom. And this was £3. I then also bought this really, really cute glass, um, like a glass tray. This will look really, really nice in my dressing room. I have like quite a dark mahogany dressing table from the 70s in there, which I was originally going to do up, but then I decided against that. And this was only £2 in the sale, and it used to be £4. And it's just got this big mermaid tail on there, and it says, I'm really a mermaid. I don't really like that if I'm honest, like I wouldn't have bought it, I think it's just because it was £2 and I do think the gold and the dark brown of my dressing table do go together really well. And then the last thing I bought, although not technically homeware, but it was only a pound and I saw it and I was like, I need to have that and then when I saw it was only a pound, I had to get it anyway. And any child of the 90s will understand how amazing this is. And this is basically just a tote bag with Arthur on and I absolutely adore it. I love tote bags just for kind of like carrying like, well, although I don't really technically need to carry my lunch in one now, but just for carrying extra bits, I always have in one in my bag and I adore this. The next thing I bought was actually from Poundland and it was just this mirror, sorry. And obviously this was just a pound, but I just thought it was really, really nice. I really, really loved like this kind of detailing. It's not amazing, like it is just plastic, but it's really, really good for what it is. Also from Primark, I actually bought um these two Winnie the Pooh framed prints again on like the big Disney fan I really really like these although I think they'd be great in like a kids room obviously I'm very very far away from having children so they look a little bit kind of young but I absolutely adore these I kind of grew up on Winnie the Pooh when I used to live at my grandma's we had um I actually had a Winnie the Pooh themed bedroom so I had Winnie the Pooh bedding rug wallpaper lampshade everything was Winnie the Pooh in my grandma's house so I still kind of feel a little bit attached to Winnie the Pooh and this is just two framed prints one which says how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard and one that says how do you spell love you don't spell it you feel it and these were seven pounds for the pair and I am contemplating giving one to my mum as like her birthday and mother's day present and then just keeping the other one just for our house because I, I don't really know where I'm going to put these but I do think they are just so so lovely and then also from Primark, if you did watch my Christmas haul, you would have seen that I got a really, really cool, like, memory foam bath mat. And I'm aware that that sounds really, really stupid saying that it was cool, but it is so, so comfortable. Especially when you get out of the bath and, like, you're all wet, it's so nice. So, for our ensuite, I decided to get another one that they had available. Now, although, as I've mentioned, we are trying to have a very grown-up house this time around, in our ensuite, I've kind of let that rule go a little bit. Like, we have a Ghostbusters bath mat and it's allowed to be a little bit quirky in there. So, I bought this amazing bath mat, which basically just said, shake it off. We tend to be, I'm not going to say we're like Taylor Swift fans or anything, but like we've been known to sing to shake it off in our house before. So we just thought this was so appropriate and I absolutely love it. And it's just, although this blue isn't necessarily my first choice with it, just going in the ensuite, I'm not too bothered. I'm not very grown up in there, so that's absolutely fine. And I just thought this was so cool. And I think this was either six or seven pounds, I can't actually remember, because it is the one that is currently in our ensuite, so I have taken the labels off. There is a couple of shops now where I've just bought one or two things from, so I'm just going to mention them very quickly. So from Asda Homeware, we actually bought these, um, kind of like these candle jar holder things. We got two in black, and we got the J and we got the W, and then we also got the S in the white candle and the M in the white candle. Now, if you're wondering who they're all for, considering there is just me and Jamie in our house, the S is obviously for me, and then the J is for him. And yes, we are at the point in our lives where our dogs also get a letter in our house. So the W is for Mr. Winston, 
and the mo the M is for Big Fat Molly and we really, really thought these were cute. We've got the two white ones then for the girls and the two black ones for the boys. From Paper Chase, I got this really, really lovely photo frame. Now there's actually pictures of me and my friends in there, so I don't care about just showing my face, but I will cover theirs. And this was meant to be £12 originally, and then it went into the sale for £6, but I actually had a £5 voucher on my card, so I managed to get this just for a pound, and I think it's so lovely. And again, with this kind of um, colouring, it looks really, really nice on my dressing table, so that's where it's currently living. And then from the Disney store, I actually got this in the January sale. I bought quite a few bits in the January sale, one of them being the um, the little tubs that I use for my Slimming World food, which if you are keeping up to date with my Slimming World things at all, you will actually have seen that in my last one in my kitchen essentials. If not, I will link that video below for you, but I did buy them in the January sale as well, which I originally had in a January sales shopping haul, but I never ended up editing it. I filmed it all, but I never bothered editing it, which was kind of annoying because that was a lot of time that I, I spent on that video, but I never ended up getting it up, So, and it seems a little bit stupid to get a sales haul up there now. So I bought this really, really cute Minnie Mouse tray, and this was only, I think, £2.95, and it used to be £6.95. The next few bits I'm going to show you are actually from Next. A lot of this was bought in the January sales. Again, I did actually have all this filmed in a January sales haul, but because I never put that video up, I'm just going to show you some of the bits that I got in there now. The first thing I got was this big-ass vase, and this is basically a really, really gorgeous purple and gold glittery vase it's absolutely massive i don't know how much it used to be but i think i got it for like six pounds and this currently lives in our bedroom next to where we keep all our photographs and i absolutely love it oh there we go it used to be 26 pounds so i got it for an absolute bargain and i just think it is so so nice and to match this i also got it's actually set of free but just for time's sake, I've just decided to pick up one from the living room and it is this matching tea light holder. I've just put some little tea lights in there and these three just sit on our coffee table in the living room, but they just match this one and although they would look good together, I just can't find the right spot for the vase in the living room, but it does look really, really nice in our bedroom, so I think they are beautiful. Also in the sale for £4, I picked up these really cool kind of rustic looking vases like they look like they're broken but <laughs> they're not and I've got two of these and they currently live in our guest bedroom I don't think these have been in a haul video I'm hoping they haven't but I did buy these so if they've been in a haul I can only apologize and then to finish off with the vases because I just went mental over vases in fact actually Jamie did put me on a vase spending ban he was like why do you keep spending money on vases but I just really really love them and I actually got this one with the intention of using it, well, now, this time of year. And it's this beautiful, like, pale pink. And it looks so amazing, like, in the windowsill in our kitchen, ready for, like, spring. And I really want to put some daffodils or something like that in here. And, again, I don't know how much this was originally. Um, but I got it, again, for, I think, maybe about £6, something like that. Also from Next, this was £10 in the sale and it is this huge cushion and this stays in our living room and we don't really use the living room that much so I am thinking about changing this and moving it to the bed because I think I would definitely use this more um, of an evening in bed and it's just basically like this grey and white print cushion with these little pink bobbles and this used to be £25 and I got it for 10 and literally it is so massive it's amazing I love it and then in the next sale again I'm really really sorry that a lot of this was in the next sale but I'm not currently in like a, a situation where I can buy a lot of full price things in next so I do rely on the sale quite a lot and um, purely just because I just can't afford a lot of it so I got this really really cool photo frame the only thing I have found is I'm struggling to kind of get photos or to make sure that everything is small enough, particularly for like these ones here. Like I just don't have many photos that I can make small enough. So I'm really going to have to think about a good collage I think to put in here. Maybe it's going to be like our friends or something like that. If I might end up just keeping this and maybe putting pictures of me and my friends in there. I'm not too sure yet but I do really really love this and this was only £4 and I think down from like maybe 15 or something like that. It is only like plastic, so it's not like a great quality, so I think £4 is quite good, but the next sale is always good for picking up things like this. And then lastly from next, I was really, really 
really lucky that my mum and dad actually gave me a £25 voucher for next, purely because they knew that I wanted to complete the set of this and I didn't really want to spend £22 on a bin. So my mum and dad were really, really lovely and they gifted me the money to be able to buy this bin. So yeah, this was £22 from next. It is still available and you can also get the matching um, toilet roll cupboard holder thing. So you can basically have a toilet roll at the top and then there's like a little door and you can store three other toilet rolls in there. And then there is also a toilet brush as well, which I also own. For obvious sakes, I've not brought them up because I can't be bothered to bring them from the bathroom into the bedroom. But I will link this below on the next website. So as soon as you see this on the website, you will actually see the toilet brush and the the toilet roll holder on there and yeah this set is lovely the only annoying thing is there is no matching um like soap dispenser or anything like that with them so there is just the free pieces for this one and now moving on to max and spencer's max and spencer's homeware is pretty expensive but it is so so nice i don't buy loads and loads of stuff in there purely again for the price and as i've mentioned i'm not exactly swimming in money at the moment so i've only bought a few bits again max and spencer's do currently have a sale on so i will say things that i got in the sale and see if you can maybe pop to your local one and see if you can find anything the first thing that i bought these were full price and they are available and on my Instagram, I put a picture of these up and they got me like 1300 likes or something ridiculous. Like I've never had that many likes ever. And people just seem to go mental over marble and gray and copper. And I bought this, these two beautiful um, tumbler and soap dispenser. The tumbler was £10 and the soap dispenser was £12. You can get the, the toilet brush of this and I think it's £19.50 so I've not bought it yet but the plan is to eventually buy it but £20 on a toilet brush is very very expensive to me so I am going to get it but I just don't know when. I did win £10 on a scratch card so I might put that towards it but these are amazing i do absolutely love the marble ones you can get as well you can get some similar to uh, donnell mill but i've not bought them ones i ended up opting for these and i just think they are so beautiful and then the last two things i bought from m s the first thing was a set of towels now i'm someone who can use just normal towels but my other half he likes the bath sheets i think they're called they're basically like extra large towels i think but i think sheet is the proper term for them and they are this kind of grey and white pattern with this really like navy blue trim down them and I got the towel and he got the sheet version. Mine was £8 and his was 11 I believe and they were down from like, his was used to be I think £18 and I can't actually remember how much mine used to be and there's no label on it. Oh yeah there is. So mine used to be £12.50 and I got it for £8 and that's just part of the loft range in M&S. Oh I also bought a lipstick as well from M&S but I don't think that really counts towards homeware but it's one of the rosy Huntington Whiteley ones and it's this gorgeous copper colour and it's magnetic. How cool is that? I've never had a magnetic lip uh, lipstick before and it's just like this beautiful nudie colour with the little logo on there and then the last thing I bought was these really really cool measuring cups and these were five pounds down from seven pounds fifty and I really want the mixing bowls of these but I haven't managed to get my hands on them yet so that's all the homeware that I've got if you've got any questions let me know below my camera battery is about to die so I'm just going to say bye to you guys now and I'll see you guys next time bye